What's going down y'all? Welcome to another video of the setup and on what I'm wearing is the same as my last video, the NBA talk video. I'm just filming these videos back to back so just don't mind that. Uh, but today we're going to talk about something that Dante Jones said. I don't know if he's on the Cavs anymore. We might have released him after the finals. He doesn't really play but that is my nigga. I love Dante Jones but he said that Steph Curry is not a top 10 player in the NBA. So we're going to talk about that coming up. These things tend to happen here at Oracle Arena. Everything from Curry now 10 of 21 from the field. Our NBA Sunday showcase presented by Verizon Go 90 continues after this field. He had a couple of threes and this gorgeous drive to the basket. We played one in Oakland. Warriors by nine. Excellent move by Steph Curry. And as you guys know, I'm a big time Cavs fan, big time LeBron fan. So it is in my nature, in my blood to hate on the Warriors, hate on Steph Curry. They beat us the last two out of three times in the finals. So we just don't fuck the Warriors over here on this channel. But if we're going to talk about Steph Curry and this topic about what Dante Jones says, I have to let you guys know I do hate on Steph Curry, but I do appreciate him for the player that he is. Like his skill set. He's the best shooter I've ever seen, the best shooter we've ever seen, and it's not even close. Like, his ability to shoot, ball handle, he can play make at times. He's not that much of a defender, but his overall skill set, his size, and his overall athletic ability is not that of other players. But his skill set makes up for that, so I do appreciate Steph Curry for the player that he is. I don't want you guys to get it twisted in this video. But if we're going to question if Steph Curry is a top 10 player, my response to that is Dante Jones. I fuck with you, but you're tripping. Like Steph Curry is a top 10 player. I don't know if he's top five. We'll get into that in a little bit. But top 10, you can't name 10 other players that are more impactful or skillful than Steph Curry. Like Dante Jones, I understand that he just beat you, beat us in the finals. I understand. Like I'm a Cavs fan, and I'm saying this. Like Steph Curry is easily a top 10 player in the NBA. Like LeBron would tell you, Steph would tell you, everybody that goes against Steph. They probably have nightmares. Like, he's a top 10 player easily. Now, the real question, I was watching first take today. They kind of flipped the question around. He's easily top 10, but is he top 5? Now, if we're going to ask if Steph Curry is top 5, the question becomes more harder, more reasonable. I can understand if Dante Jones said he's not a top 5 player. I can understand that. But top 10, easily. So, the real question is, is he top 5? Now, my top five players it might be a little bit different than you guys. I do think John Wall is a better player than Steph Curry. If you haven't watched my best point guard tournament, he beat out Steph Curry. So, I do think John Wall, Westbrook are better than him at his own position, at the point guard position. Uh, then you got James Harden in the, in the mix. You have easily Kevin Durant's better than Steph Curry. And then you have the GOAT, the King, LeBron James at the top of the list when it comes to best players in the NBA. So, he might be top six easily if you want to throw in Anthony Davis as well. He might be better than Steph Curry. Curry, but overall impact and skill, Steph Curry might be top five, but he's hanging on, depending on who you like. It's all about personal preference when it comes to top five. Top three is easily uh, when it comes to, like, we all know who's top three. We have LeBron, KD, and you can add Westbrook or James Harden, or some people will say Kawhi, but I don't think Kawhi Leonard is a better player than Steph Curry, because the only thing that Kawhi Leonard does better than Steph Curry is play defense. He can't shoot better, finish better, pass better. He don't do nothing better than Steph Curry but play defense. I understand he's probably the best defender in the NBA that we've seen in years, but that's, that's all that he's better than Steph Curry's at. And he's not better. Quadland is not better than Westbrook or James Harden, LeBron, or uh, KD. So he's not top five for me. I know a lot of people are high on Kawhi Leonard, but all he does is play defense. He can't score better than none of those other players. He can't play make for other players. He doesn't make people better. I don't, uh, uh, top five though. We, we talking about top five for Steph. So my top five, let's just do this. Uh, very simple. LeBron at one, KD two, three, I'm going to go Westbrook because he just won MVP and the overall impact he has on the Thunder. Three, Westbrook. Oh, four, I'm going to go James Harden because his skill set, his playmaking ability, he doesn't play defense, but he rebounds and scores, assists at a high level, almost average a triple-double as well as Westbrook. So uh, LeBron, KD, Westbrook, James Harden, and then the five spot. I'm going to go with Steph Curry being top 10, but I don't think he's top five because I'm going oh, to add uh, John Wall in there at five. In my point guard position video, he, John Wall beat out Westbrook, but overall, that's for being the best point guard. Being the best player, I do think Westbrook's a better... Oh, my God. 
This is tough. This is tough. I'm going to go LeBron, KD, John Wall, Westbrook, Harden at five. Let's just do that because I don't want to counteract or go against my video that I did on point guard. So I'm going to go LeBron, KD, John Wall, Westbrook, Harden, Steph Curry at six. Anthony Davis at seven. This is off the top of my head. I This is spare the moment. I was just watching first take. So top 10, Steph Curry is a top 10 player, but top five, depending on personal preference, he might be in your top five, but he's clinging on to my top five at the sixth spot. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This is a quick video, uh, but I do think Dante Jones is tripping when, when he says Steph Curry's not a top 10 player. He's kind of a little bit salty. I can just I can just feel it. You know what I'm saying? He just beat us in the finals. But in the finals, watching the finals, the overall impact and skill set that Steph Curry possesses, easily a top 10. But like I said, depending on personal preference, top five, uh, he's not there for me. I, I might slide him in there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it all depends on who you like and who you don't like. A lot of people are high on Kawhi Leonard. That kind of messes up my whole top five. But I don't think Kawhi Leonard is better than Steph Curry. So I don't know. Leave your thoughts in the, in, in the comment section below. Is he top five, top 10, top 20? I don't know how bad you hate him. But for me, top 10, easily top five. He might be up there, six, seven range. But leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Turn on all post notifications for shout outs in my next video. I didn't do it in this video because I haven't seen my last video i'm filming these videos back to back uh subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace